Whistler. What is your superlative? Most likely to uh, own my own business. Ryan Whistler. Congratulations, Ryan. Congratulations. Roxanne Gray. Most likely to be the perfect housewife. Roxanne Gray. Congratulations. Travis Kaufman. Most likely to blow up a building. Travis Kaufman. Congratulations, Travis. Thanks. Congratulations, Travis. Laura Mortison. Where is Laura? I guess we should keep going. Chris Mitchell. Most likely to, to kick your ass. Yes, man, bar home. And the party girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sarah Roberts. Sarah Roberts. Congratulations, Sarah. All right, settle down, settle down. Settle, settle, settle down. Yeah, you, you settle down. All right, all right. Well, you go ahead. Congratulations to the class of 1996. May your days be merry and bright, and may you become caring and contributing members of society. All right, you can celebrate. You graduated. <laughs> How do you feel about this situation? Contributing members of society? <laughs> no, she didn't. Those delinquents? <laughs> Good luck! I hope I die before they inherit the world. And that Sarah, be happy to see the backside of her with her fruity cornucopia she's got going on. Skittles. Mm -hmm. In that bed. Mm. I missed you so much while we were up on that. Yeah, I had to bring a little fun It's my baby coming out of my mouth. Classy. You want to You got any chicken nuggets? That's what I got. Need some chicken nuggets, all right? Yep, coming right up. Some type of, uh, to eat the cake? It's full of I'm so proud of you, by the way. <laughs> then I gave her, <laughs> I gave her some good love. Hey! Hey! Yeah, we're on a party, though. This is the real world. No, no. Wait, well, she wasn't there. Were you there? She was there. Were you there she at Bishop's there. Garden? She was there. She was there. Yeah, she was there. I go to Bishop's Garden a lot. Which no, that time about? that Ryan peed on the wall. Yeah, what? I was there. <laughs> Were you just like, this guy is grade A for dating yeah. perfection. Like, no, no, he gets on my nerves with that stuff. I'm going to try it out. Hey. What the heck are you I got, about? I got, I've just been standing here innocently. I'm an innocent bystander. Do you want to try it out now? Maybe? Hey, what are you talking about trying out? I what need are you some of that about? black love. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Tell them about that I don't know. Love. Call it some experimentation. <laughs> Ryan, I don't want to talk about it. Please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
much. Too much. Uh, too nah. much. I'm a, yeah, we just grabbed it. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. And I know we're gonna be. I know we're gonna be far apart next year at college, but I wanted to let you know that I wanted to stay together. Oh, um, yeah. Let's just talk about this later, because, I mean, I just, it's just that, you know, I don't know, like, what I'm gonna want in three months. You know, I like, I don't know, like, like, it's cool. what's going on in it's, the future. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, yes, hello once again. Back for a second round. Mm -mm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, Adrian. Wow, wait, Steph. Chloe must be so proud. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. so. What advice do you have for your future self? Die young, stay beautiful. <laughs> what advice do you have for the incoming freshman? Live fast, die faster. What is your superlative? Best ass. you've ever seen in your life. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so, you've just watched your girlfriend graduate. What are you going to do with your life? Go to Disneyland. Of course you would say that. Why aren't you taking this seriously? I want this to be good, you know? This is like for the yearbook. I want it to be good for like posterity, you know? You should really take this seriously, Gwen. That was a serious question. You just watched your girlfriend graduate from high school. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Did you tell me that it was? No. You didn't think it was? No. <laughs> gotcha. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You are crazy. Oh my god, get off me. My mom's coming. Oh, there you are. You remember oh, uh, Gwen there. from English class? Of course, Gwen. Oh. Enjoying the pretty day mm -hmm. and yeah. the festivities. Yeah, yes, our little graduate areas. over here. Oh, I got your daughter some flowers and a friend present. Aren't you so sweet? Wasn't that you nice of you? Have. Really um, I'm going to take off, but it was great seeing you. I'll call you. I'll call you tonight. Yeah, that's true. All right, see you later. Thank you. All right, nice to see you, Gwen. <laughs> How are you <sighs> doing? Congratulations, sweetie. Thank I'm you, Mom. I'm <laughs> proud of you. You did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Oh, oh. Congratulations, congratulations. You walked across the stage. I did. Hey, Colin, are mom and dad acting kind of weird? Elizabeth? Richard? Lovely. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. That went awry. Oh, that too. 
I'm just gonna hand feed it to you. I hope you don't mind. Ready? Open up here. We're gonna split one. Ready? You take that half. Just bite it off. I'm take the other half. That's connection. Let's go. Oh, Mrs. Roberts, you must be so happy. It's the longest marathon I can ever imagine. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Have you seen Laura, my daughter? Laura, the. Oh snap! Hey, real food, bitch. Classy. <laughs> Why am I even here? I'm a freshman. The seniors are so cool. Our year is so lame. Our decade is so lame. Man, we're caught in between decades. Mm. Wow, the freshmen are so stupid. <laughs> I know. Caught between a decade. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying inside. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> Aww, the freshmen think we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I guess we kind of are the shit. Yeah. Sorry, do you prefer Miz or, or Miss? Please, call me Jill. Right, Jill, I got it. Remy's around back. Okay. Oh, tell your mom I said hi. We still need to do our Crate and Barrel lunch. We're gonna try that Star of Siam restaurant. Mm, fancy. Mm. <laughs> what do you think the diff is between wizards and warlocks? Do cats go to heaven or is it just dogs? Why do none of the buses go to Georgetown? <laughs> is a wizard good and a warlock evil? What if when you go to sleep at night, all your stuffed animals and dolls come alive and have a party in your room? You would never know because you're asleep. Would they offer an Ebonics class as an elective in like 10 years? <laughs> what the hell is a Hoya? <laughs> Are you guys just making this crap up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so bored. <gasps> I almost forgot. Ta da! Oh, what is that? It looks like sewage water. It's purple Jesus. It's one eighth of everything in my parents' liquor cabinet. <laughs> We're gonna die. It's gonna be so awesome! Yeah! <laughs> I mean it seriously, you just gotta keep trying. You're just you're taking the wrong yeah, approach to I was so too. bad. Cool. It's not like riding Break. a bike. Right. Practice switching positions. But did you notice like, like riding a bike, it's not like riding a bike? I'm like, like this? Which yeah. Yeah, no no no. Yeah, do it with me. In the mirror. Dibs. Well, I haven't had any. 
Sorry, sorry. It's okay, Tam. Just take a chill pill. What? Well, what? Take a chill pill when you guys have all had some and I haven't. That's a great chill pill. I would want <laughs> that chill pill. <laughs> Easy there, slugger. It's my turn. How can you have more when you haven't had any? <laughs> Remy! <laughs> Where are you going? Leave it here. I'm just gonna bogart the hooch and have a pee. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Cavorting with our oh, innocent 
A hog and a frog, cavort and a bog. Do you guys remember that? Oh, but not no. Suddenly, Remy can ride her bike completely fine. We're all fucked up. La 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 la. How long have you known? Fuck!
be all right. I mean it. I promise. Besides, it's nothing some pancakes can't fix. You just, you just need to get some food in you. How Remy went from gonzo wasted to straight as an arrow in the blink of an eye. How do you go from Hunter S. Thompson to Shirley Temple in a second like that? You guys talk about that. You didn't notice. You don't know. She doesn't know. She's a fakey faker. Yep. No way. Yeah. yeah. Pretending this. she's Miss Drug Queen, Speed Demon Extraordinaire, when actually she's straight edge. What the fuck? Fuck. I wonder why. And I, I know you're grateful to her for saving you last night. We all are. But the point isn't are you indebted or not. The point is, do we even know her? We're supposed to be her best friends. That's so... It's so wrong. It's yeah. lying and faking and psycho, quite <laughs> frankly. I wonder why. Honestly, because she wants to be the leader in control. She just wants us to follow. That's weird though, because you're more like the leader. But I'm not, and isn't that weird? I wonder why. <laughs> and who the hell does that? <laughs> I mean, why did not she just trust us? Exactly. I mean, how dare she pretend that she's got the keys to the kingdom, and she'll show me the world and, and open my eyes to the doors of a freaking perception when she's freaking Betty Crocker. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Doors of perception. That's funny. <laughs> so what is this? Robotism? Yeah. Good morning, pink man. Yeah. Superfood. <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. Okay. So <laughs> So is this robotism? <laughs> yeah, it's just robotism. I'm sorry, I wasted your good stuff. Yeah. Hey, Emma. Betty made pancakes. <laughs> Uh, we were just partying like four hours ago. Isn't anybody a little hungover? I thought you were a hardcore partier. So why didn't you just tell us you were straight edge? What? Straight edge? I'm not straight edge. The technicality. You don't party, but you think like you do. Who are you? She's the hippopotamus. Why put on this big act? I may not be the leader, but I'm not a phony. You afraid to let me be the leader, Betty Crocker? 
Let's go say hi to Duncan Hines. Who are you? I mean, yeah, Remy saved me, but she also kind of caused it all. I can't help but wonder what does she witness when I was too fucked up to? Or what else has she lied about? It's just... It's just... Yeah, she did save me, but she also kind of led me down this path of destruction. <laughs> It's like it was all, she was the one who almost caused me being raped. I, uh, okay, I mean, not really, but it's just, it's like she's willing to, to risk our safety, but not hers. It's like, does she even value us? Well, I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Here, and you two ordered pie. Um, Finally. And coffee. And here are some napkins. Enjoy. Excuse me, Blondie. <laughs> Hi, um, look, I've got a problem. Do you see, I, I ordered caffeinated, and this is decaf. I can smell that it's decaf. So can, can you switch it, please? I need caffeine. Um, yeah, and sure. This pie is really cold. Um, I, I can give you a new slice if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Sure, no problem. Uh, let me take this for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, sure. Hey, thanks. Try to hurry, please. Packing for school. You packing for college already? It, it doesn't start for weeks and weeks. I'm trying to get ahead of the game. 
so you're not going to college this year either. No. Do you even have a plan? Like, I'm worried about you. Aren't you worried you're gonna like rot here and never get yourself in gear, you know, inertia and all? My mom says, statistically speaking, that kids who take more than one gap year are more than 50% more likely to just never go to college. So what are you doing later? You know, I'm like really busy with all this packing and stuff. Um, maybe we can do something later? I'll stop by the coffee shop. Pick you up after work, at the least. Sounds good. Okay, I'll, um, I'll see you then. Oh my god. God. Today's been the worst day in the history of the planet. I can't, like, everything has gone wrong. Thanks. That's awesome. That makes today awesome. Like, really awesome. Yeah. That's what you get. Now you have to tie it for me. That is a horrible knot. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know, Miss Cole. You, you take it. <laughs> You're looking awfully morose today. Waiting for my girlfriend. My relationship issues is done, done, done. It's fine. We're fine. We'll be fine. Okay. I was just joking, you know. It's not like I can uh, talk anyway. Yeah. Things with my girl Yaz are kind of strained at the moment. It's all this college stuff. Preparing for college, packing for college, talking about college. Us to do we, don't we break up since we'll be in different states, miles apart. Yasmin has been acting weird about the whole thing. Does she want to stay together freshman year and you want to break up? More like the other way around. But this is your therapy session, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> God, at least you're both going. I am taking my second gap year. I was like, maybe I should be more embarrassed about it. But keeping around Sarah, I definitely will be. I mean, sh should I be embarrassed? I'm like, you know, am I turning into a, a total zero and she's just trying to save me? 
Girl, you are a mess. I don't know. I think you got time. Hell, you're what? 19. And if you're hanging out, watching Bender and Bender ads, and when you're 34, then you better check yourself. But that's point B, C, or G, <laughs> and we're still at A. <laughs> did you really just say Bender and Bender ads? I did. Can you come up with something better? Um, Zoobly Zoo? Science, Sesame Street? Science Kirk and Miles? <laughs> Okay, can I pull the light off here? Cool. No problem. Ryan, what are you doing here? Keep us waiting here company. You know, we work in uh, coffee churches together. Oh, I didn't know you worked here too. Tough work, but someone's got to do it, I guess. So, what the hell was that? Nothing. Why didn't you tell me Ryan was working with you at the coffee shop? I'm sorry, what is this, a police state? Is something going on with you and Ryan? Hello, I'm gay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not ashamed of who I am, unlike some of us who can't even come out to our parents. Ugh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gwen, just get in the car. Get in the car. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'm not doing this. I'm not being that girl. Just go. <laughs> Just go. Okay. I love you. Even when we fight. I love you too! Talk when we pulled off! I am taking the Calphalon. Look, you just order out. Your cooking is horrible. It, horrible. It was a gift from my best woman. Your okay. best woman? Yes. Well, well let me tell you about my it. best woman, okay? I don't and want it's to hear not, about Look, that's let me tell you. Breaking us up, okay? That's the situation. I mean, if you were my best woman, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And I'm not just talking about cooking in the kitchen. I'm talking about the heat in the bedroom. Oh, my God. Like, when are we gonna have oh, this conversation? Colin is in the next room. You he's not gonna quiet. look. He's a grown man now. He knows how things go. He doesn't need to know about our private life. You don't have to start packing up right now. I mean, at least let us square it away with the kids first. Oh, thank you. It's so nice of you to decide when I can leave. I'm just trying to be adult about this. That's all. I wish you'd been adult a little bit earlier in this relationship, okay? Look, I was trying to be as honest as I possibly could, but look... Which includes lying and sneaking around. Great. I didn't have to sneak around if you had at least agreed to marriage counseling or something. You knew our relationship was having problems, but... I try to deal with things practically. No, you don't. That's the problem. I do. You are Mr. Emotion. Go off on everything. I think we should handle this Maybe if you put a little bit more emotion into our relationship, we wouldn't be having these issues. Are we going to go over this again? Yes, until we get... Well, I guess maybe now we don't have to, I guess. We don't have to anymore. Oh. Okay, here you are, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. Colin, could you have a seat? We need to talk. We are getting a divorce. Chrissy and I are moving back home with my folks. 
but we want you to know that this is not the end. This is a new beginning. And, and this isn't your fault. It's okay. Really. But I'm not five. This is the divorce talk that you give to a five-year-old. I mean, we know it's not our fault. I mean, I just want to know, why didn't you say anything before? Okay, never mind. Really, never mind, never mind. Wow. He took that way better than Chrissy did. Yeah. He actually took that well. I know. I'm surprised. How is Chrissy, by the way? I mean, should we ground her? I mean, you can't just let your kid run away without doing something, can you? She just went to my parents' house. It wasn't a defiant act. She just needed something normal. We we have to just let it let it go. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Like everything else, it's fine. Hey, I didn't bring this down on us. Okay? Look, let's let's just stop. Agreed. Hey Chris, this is Colin. Um, I'm not really good with all this sentimental stuff, but I didn't want to take it all away from you. Even if it was all fake and shit. But instead of us being broken up by lies and secrets and stuff, we're being broken up by the truth, but it still sucks. It sucks. Either way. But now we're being split up because of truth and not of lies and, you know, hidden secret. But it sucks. Either way, it sucks. <sighs> Can't believe you ran away. Huh. Huh. Of course, only the Nana's house, Miss Little Red Riding Hood. Anyways, whenever you get this message, uh, call me. Call me. All right, love you. Bye. Peace.
need more newspaper. Okay, so what are we gonna do? You wanna talk about it? Do you want me to distract you? Whatever. Okay, okay so distract you. I can do that. It's just, it's not even the divorce. Now I saw it coming. It's almost better this way. But just being with him, my dad, that sucks. And all of those boxes, half packed. It's depressing. And their mail will still come and they won't be there. Yeah. When my parents got divorced, the telemarketers would still call asking for my dad. My mom would get really upset. It's weird. Whoever thought their absence could take up so much space. That's something Chris would say. Look, I know she's your stepsister. I shouldn't have let it get that far. I couldn't even go through with it. I just want you to know. All right, forget it. She's our own person. And that wasn't really why I was angry. Not really. So, we're cool? Cool. Sorry I missed your call. It's just, I... Oh, I, I can't believe you didn't tell me. I mean, I guess, I understand, sort of. I mean, you didn't want to take it all away from me. Even though it was all fake and shit. But now we're being split up because of the truth and not because of hidden stuff and lies. And it sucks. And for the record, about me running away, it was to grandma's, so it doesn't really count. Anyway, I love you, and call me back soon. Okay, bye. Sarah, how are you? Hey, Gwen, what's up? Doing that work. Mmm, nice. How are the uh, coffee trenches treating you? Sucks, always. You're such a dick. <laughs> it's kind of what, you know, whatever. It's work, what can you do? Are you ready for your, um, your college orientation thingy? Oh, that's like, if you mean by sleeping. <laughs> it's not for like another two weeks anyway. It's in August. Well, Sarah! Some college mail came for you. How oh. exciting! <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't know you were on the phone. Oh, that's fine. Who are you talking to? Uh, just, um, just a friend from English the class. Friend from English? You really just can't say your girlfriend? Thanks. Thanks. 
<laughs> I died. I want to come out. Yet. And besides, I don't like to be labeled. Oh, okay. So it's okay to label me as a friend of English. You would rather be passively labeled as straight. You'd rather passively pass as straight rather than be actively labeled. You can't come out to your parents. Do you even care about me at all? Okay, why are you bringing this up again? I don't want to talk about this, all right? Aren't you getting paid to make coffee? So why don't you do make some use of yourself and make some fucking coffee, okay? I'll talk to you later. What's that? What the fuck? So, you're about to play shrink, but your fight yesterday? No, 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 no. It looked bad for a moment, but I think that you guys have something really good going. Thank you. I need a beverage refreshment. Uh, I need a cherry coke mix up like it's my job. So is it a date? One, I know you're gay. <laughs> Get over yourself. And I already have a girlfriend and a dysfunctional relationship of my own. So. <laughs> so nice having a fellow aimless wasteoid buddy. Well, thanks. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sarah would so not approve. Guys, like everything I do is wrong to her lately. It's not always about you. It's not always your fault, egomaniac. Right, I'm just, I'm just a friend from English class. It doesn't really matter. Can you imagine? I'm just a friend from English class. Friend from English class. Can you imagine being Yaz's friend from English class around her family? She should just come out. Blech. Blech. You're an egomaniac. I don't want to the max. So, Yazzie wants to take time off when we go to college. What is take time off? Lazy version of breaking up. <laughs> Funny thing is, she has been jealous of you and me in our clandestine coffee shop meeting. <gasps> Sarah's too! She used that to her advantage. Sarah's and Mike being so mean to us. You know what? Let's go. Right now. You want your apron? Sure. Ah! <laughs> Got an idea. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Yasmin. Hey. I can't hang out today. Uh, something came up. I had to... I had to help one with something important. Okay. I, I just, I need to help her with this, you know. She means a lot to me. As a friend, of course. Uh, so, you know, uh, we can just reschedule. You feel? Um, I'll call you later. <laughs> Bye. Hello? Hi. I need you to control your girlfriend. Yasmin? Yeah. She's all over, Ryan. What? I'm going to call you back.
Why the hell is Yasmin calling me with conspiracy theories about you and Ryan having an affair? What? You don't have an exclamation for yourself? Uh -huh. I thought you were the one that was so proud to be gay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Since when did you smoke? It's it's not lit. It's just it it was. I usually don't. It's just uh, I mean stress and stuff and <laughs> I just not something to put in my hat. Um, so the Enterprise. Oh, uh, you can you can tell. <laughs> no, it's good. You can tell straight away. Yeah, you, uh, you do this shit without instructions, and, um, all bets are off. So, um, I guess it goes without saying I'm bored to fucking death. I mean, I don't usually dork out like this. I don't think it impresses people or, or girls. It's okay, dude, chill. I mean, I grew up on Star Trek, the original, and TNG. <laughs> and now you're just being cool. No, Scout's honor. Okay, so, prove it. Kirk or Spock? <laughs> I mean, it's like the Beatles versus the Stones. I mean, you can like both, but there's a line, and everyone's on one side or the other. <laughs> well, Spock, all the way. <laughs> no way, me too. I mean, it was like father-daughter bonding hour with the sci-fi. Of course, it was either that or watching the mating habits of mongoose on MPT. Yeah, my mother wouldn't let us have cable. But out of that, I grew into a major appreciator of the sci-fi. Wow. So, how's your summer? Um, bored yet? Yeah, amazing how that happens, huh? Tell me about it. <sighs> Remember last summer when we watched crap horror films? <laughs> Teenagers from outer, outer space! space. <laughs> oh, God. Good that was, job. was fun. So, uh... So, um, what, what? other um, <laughs> embarrassing things do you do when no one else is around? -da! Well, I practiced my You're beautiful! Get in! Sorry, dude. Not spilling my secrets this time. Hey! Chop, chop! I'm oh. going! Maybe, maybe next time? I just can't get on these heels from hell! Oh. I'll talk to you later! Let's fuck it! Maybe next time? Maybe! Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Legos for life! <laughs> hey, he's nice. Ah, Pajuan, you have so much to learn about the ways of women.
We were in Georgetown for Halloween after we got Confetti Boop costume. Confetti Boop. Confetti Boop is a shit, okay? She is a shit. She is a shit. But listen, my thing. Okay, so we're walking down the street in Georgetown on Halloween. It's really late, and these freaks are like like a block down from us. Like vampires. They're vampires. So, so. We're walking down there, we're like in front of Nathan. And one of them runs up to and bites her no. on the neck. No. Oh. Yeah. 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 It was his yeah. yeah. No, 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 do it again, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Champagne and beers. <laughs> nice. So, you know, I was worried you were up here. I don't know, like sad or crying or something. Nah. I'm crying. Yeah. Crying. Probably just a, a, I don't know, trick of the light, you know? Looking at a low angle or a long shadow. What are you a photographer now or something? Forget it. So, um, you were worried about me? Maybe. Why so antisocial? Down here all by yourself. Sometimes it's just nicer watching. You know? <laughs> Thank you. You know, being a part of everything can be so stressful. Like, like I'm always going. Oh, I'm always worried. You know, I'm gonna mess up or something. And yeah, like and this. um, and you were hoping. I don't know that maybe someone might come up here and keep you company. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe? Yes. Um, do you need to get that, it, it could be important. Not be important right now, is this? It's hard to make you feel Do. Okay, look, it's. I just. I mean, you know, it's not a final no, just, you know, not now. Not like this, you know, in public. Public. I can't see anything. Oh, shadow. I won't be able to, you know, think about anything else, but what if they can see? It ruins it. I don't know, let's just let's go to the back of the playground where they can see. Alright. No! <gasps> no! I, look! I just, you're not, not now. I mean, not, not like this. It's a simple answer. I,
<clears throat> no, nah, look, don't. Don't worry about it, you know. Things leave places and pretending they don't, it's just not very real, right? It's not really my style. Anyways, I gotta take this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. What? Is something wrong? <laughs> nah, it's just. It's just Jackie and. You know, she can get it. Yo, if you're trying to get her out, let's get a fucking move on, alright? I'm out. Jackie Page. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Go! What the fuck are you doing? Alex? Hey! Hi! What are you doing here? Oh, I'm not. Feeling too good. Um, do you want to come in? It's fine. You can you can stay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, oh my god. Are you okay? No. Come on, I got you. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh, careful, careful. You alright? Oh my god. No, I'm okay. You sure? Just yeah, take your time. Take your. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. It's okay. You alright? Oh. Did you you get it all? That is a sick. You sure? There you go. There you go. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> 
You good? Come on. Yes. <laughs> you alright? Uh, <laughs> so tired. So tired. I, I can imagine you, you walked kind of far. Hey, not again. You sure? Uh -oh. I'll go get you like some Cinderella crackers or something. Stay right here. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go. So pretty. For you. <laughs> go, go easy. You still kind of ooh. Yes. Okay. I think you got some stuff. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Careful. Uh, why don't you ask me out on a date yet? Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you ask me out on a date yet? After a while, I can ask you. You want to go on a date? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll take you swing dancing. And, um, I'll make you breakfast in the morning after I walk you home tonight. <laughs> Phillips, is Rob there? Robin, phone for you. It's David. Nancy, I told you, it's Rob. Oh, excuse me, Rob. You know, Robin, it's such a beautiful name. You really should make peace with it. If you're comfortable and confident about your name, you're confident about the world. Well, maybe if you were there when I was born, you could have a say. Oh, oh, don't forget to take out the trash, okay? Robin! I so made out with Alex. Dude, guess what? It's totally true. Like, she was throwing up, and then she was sad, but she wasn't, because I, I like cheered her up. Oh, she's so into me. Yes! She wants to pop some cookies and you pop that? Gross. It's not like that, jackass. Like, like, she's into me, and I'm making her breakfast, and we're going out swing dancing. Swing dancing? That is so weak. Are you trying to beat her sister? Are you trying to get laid, my man? Whatever, she's into me. Uh, dude, I doubt she even remembers. Whatever, Nancy the Mill. I'm gonna kill you! Later, Robin. I can't believe this. Mom! Okay, Davis is coming, and you gotta tell him that I'm not home. Okay. 
Hi, is um, Alex home? I'm sorry, Davis. She's not here right now. Um, can you let her know I stopped by? Sure, sure. Okay, thanks. Still no chicken nuggets? No. No. No chicken nuggets. You sure? None? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think. No. You need some chicken nuggets. Anybody else. <laughs> Thank you, hot dog man! 